Hi friends. Well, it's field trip Friday. I'm super excited and uh, I'm in my car. You see my car? I'm in my car and I'm getting ready to, I'm looking around the parking lot. I'm getting ready to go into a grocery store. It's called Fresh Time Farmer's Market. I don't know if you've ever been there before, but usually um, we come here in November for a field trip. So I'm gonna go in and just ask them if I can video s some apples, maybe some fall things that they have around their store because it's, ooh, it's kind of chilly outside. It's like getting to be fall, which is fantastic. Mm, letter F words, fall and fantastic. Even though we're on letter A, we still gotta remember those other letters, parts of our, of our alphabet. Uh, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna head in here and I'm gonna shut my car off and get my purse because I'm also gonna buy apples. And I think that's gonna be super fun. And we'll take them back to Playmates Preschool and I'll wash them. And then I'm gonna slice them up and we're gonna taste some apples today. So this is gonna be a journey. It's called a field trip. Gotta have lots of fun, put a smile on your face, and let's start our field trip. All right, let's head on in. It's windy out today. And if you look behind me, so here I am, I'm gonna walk into the grocery store, I'm gonna get a grocery cart. Okay, then let's go on a field trip. Let's find apples, are these apples? They are not, they're chocolate covered pretzels. Let's keep going. Ooh, coffee, I smell coffee, it smells so delicious. Okay, let's keep going. Are you getting dizzy walking with me? There's the juice bar. Oh, I think I see apples way far over there. Let's keep going. Ooh. Look at this, friends, look at this fruit. It's called a dragon berry. Oh, and look above it. There is some apples. Are there any stems on the apples? Let's look. There is a stem. So today we're gonna buy three apples. Three apples. I'm gonna buy one red apple, and one green apple, and one yellow apple. And we'll take it back and we'll taste it. We'll taste it and see. So these are called honey crisp apples. Do you see? There's the word that says honey crisp. Right here is the letter A. Do you see it? Ah, ah, apple. Ah, ah, apple. These are honey crisp. And honey crisp are good apples. They're a little pricey though. They're a little more expensive. But let's see what, what else we can find. Oh, friends. Do you know what that says? Can we switch the Caramel dip. Mmm. Remember when we talked about what we like to eat our apples with? Caramel. Or some people like peanut butter. There's some kiwi. Oh, look at all these apples. There's more honey crisp apples. A Fuji apple. Can you find the letter A in this? Find the letter A. Is it this letter? It's an upper case. These are called pink lady apples. Hmm, wonder what a pink lady tastes like. Granny Smith are coming up. Granny Smith apples are green. A lot of my friends will choose the green apple that you taste, that you'll taste, that it'll taste the best to you. This one, I will tell you, Mrs. Merrill does not like <laughs> it's too sour for me. And then here's what there is called a gala apple. Look at all the letter A's in this. Gala has two A's. One, two, and then the word apple has one. So, but that's three, three A's. All right, let's keep going Hi. Let's come over here. We need to, oh, look over here and let's see. This is called spaghetti squash. 
And this is acorn squash. Do you like to eat squash? My chickens like squash. This is butternut squash. If you cut this in half and lay it in a pan of water in your oven, and then butter, turn it, you know, it's real soft and mushy, and you scoop it out with some butter and put some cinnamon on it, it's delicious. Here's another good pumpkin to buy. Hmm. It's a little too early for me to buy pumpkins yet because I always want to carve them really well. This has a nice stem on it. So, all right. Here are some apples, and this is what we're going to purchase today. We are going to purchase... I'm going to do... A green apple so we're gonna buy one green apple so it's a granny Smith I'm gonna purchase one yellow apple see it's kind of yellow like this one let me look let me hold these so this one is greener and this one is yellower and then let's find a really bright red apple Fuji apples are actually Mrs. Merrill's favorite, so I am going to pick. I wonder what happens if I would pick this one in the middle. Do you think they would all fall down? That might make one of the workers kind of angry, so I'm not going to do that today. Look at these two. They're kind of squeezed in there tightly. If I were to grab one, I think they would all fall. So I'm going to go reach in. And I think, uh oh, it's kind of mushy. I think this, no, that's going to, oh, look, friends. I think there's a worm inside. I don't know. Do you know if you ever find, if you go to an apple orchard and you pick an apple off the ground? Let's look at this one. Is there any? Oh, there's a sticker. You want to see what it says? It says USA Fuji. It's a Fuji apple. And it has a stem. And then it has the core part to it, too. But I don't see any holes or bruises. Did you know that's apples have bruises too it's a soft spot do you ever fall down do you know what i'm gonna do i think i might buy this apple too look at this one this one still has where the leaf was that's very interesting and look at the markings on this apple so when the bees were pollinating in the apple tree this was part of the leaf but this was once a flower and it made this apple isn't God pretty cool how he created the apple tree and the honeybees to pollinate the apple tree to make an apple for us to enjoy? It's pretty amazing. All right, so now we're going to walk to Okay, friends, I am back at Playmate Preschool, and I am going to wash our apples. I'm going to, I have them here on the counter, and see how they all have stickers on them? I'm going to take those off because we don't want, kind of just peel it off. Maybe mom and dad can help you when you get back from the store. Or maybe do your apples that we gave you have a sticker on them? See the yellow apple. Okay. I'm going to run some water over them them down the bottom of the sink. I left the stem on because I want to do something, a trick with you guys. And then I have some soap. I'm going to put some soap in my hand. Here, just Dawn dishwashing soap. And I'm going to wipe off, wash off some of those. Ugh. Sometimes the, um, when they come, apples come with a little bit of wax on them. It's how they preserve them. Okay. I've got those all taken care of. Oops. Oh. that way. Okay. How many apples did I buy? I bought four, but we're just going to use these three for our field trip. One, two, three. Good job. All right, I'll throw the stickers away in the trash. And I get a paper towel here. Wipe my hands off. And 
dry the apples a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you something inside this drawer at Playmates Preschool is an apple slicer. You see the apple slicer? So this is what we're gonna use when we go back to the classroom and use this. Hi friends. I'm back from the kitchen and so let's taste some apples. Do you want to taste some apples? So I, I have a sharp knife. And remember, if you are in mommy's kitchen, you don't ever touch a knife, right? It's very sharp and there's a special way to hold a knife. But I'm going to keep it safely right here while I make, um, while I peel or cut the apples. Remember in the kitchen, I was talking to you about the stem of the apple and there's a little bit of a leaf here. There's a game that my sister and I used to play. My sister is my little sister and she's five years younger than I am. She's a mom like me and she's even a grandma. <laughs> she is even a grandma, but they call her Grammy. Little Rowan calls her Grammy, but I'm not a grandma yet. Not yet, <laughs> but so my kids. So anyway, when we were little, we used to sing the alphabet song and twist our apple to the stem to get the stem off. And whatever letter we landed on, we'd see who got the better letter, okay? And ready? Let's go. Sing with me. Twist, so you twist. A, B, C. C. It broke off on letter C. So there's the red apple. Let's try the yellow apple. I'm gonna pinch the stem like this. And you twist. A, B, C, D, E, E. Oh, there's a stem here. Let's try this one. You pinch with these fingers and twist with your with this hand. Hold tight. A, B, C, C again. Two C's and one letter E. All right, I'm gonna get my apple core slicer out and I'm going to cut, push down like this, push, <gasps> and inside is, is the apple. We don't see the star this time, right? This is the core of the apple. And I'm going to put those, push those out with my fingers, not to try not to cut my fingers. Be very careful, Mrs. Merrill. Then I'm going to push the core out. Ready? One, two, three, pop. We don't want to eat that part. It's got seeds in it. <clears throat> Although you could cut it in half. Let's cut it in half. Let's do a little experimenting. Oh, there is a little star inside. I don't know if you can see that. There's a star and then all the seeds are in there. So you could probably cut some of the seeds out. All right, let's do the green apple. Ready? Count with me. One two three push oh, got it all right so here we've got the green apples for our apple tasting apple tasting yummy yummy apple tasting well, those seeds they kind of push that crooked all right mr apple core come out of there okay red apple going crooked again. Try to push it back in. There we go. This gives you just eight or eight slices evenly. I've got a towel around my so for because they're juicy apples. Okay. So now we have our apples. And in your packet, I said I was gonna buy caramel and I forgot that I was gonna buy caramel. I remember, remember when I showed you the caramel and I forgot to buy it. So if you had caramel at home, so I'm gonna taste a red apple and a green apple, even though I already know green apples are not my favorite, I'm still gonna taste it because you never know. Even though I say, no, mommy, no, I don't like that or when I was a little girl, I used to say that. <laughs> no, mommy, no, I don't like that color. You never know. 
All right, you should still probably try it and do a taste me please. That's what we call it at my house. Do a taste me please. And if you still don't like it, then I, and then I accept that your taste buds don't like it. And here's the yellow apple. So I, which one should I start with first? I think I'm going to start with the green one because I know I really don't like it. It's very sour. Okay, so a taste is just a small bite. Crunchy. Pretty sour. Let me tell you something. Let me swallow my food first. Okay. Last year, I had a little boy in my class who cried during apple tasting because his mommy always took the peeling off the apple. Watch, you can take the peel off the apple. And for our apple tasting though, I want you to try it with the skin on and then to finish your apple, then mommy, mommy can try it and take your, take your peeling off, okay? Because I understand that this kind of gets in your teeth and it's not, it's chewy. It's hard to, it's sometimes hard to chew. So, okay, so that's that. Don't you peel it, right? You let mommy use a knife or daddy. Okay, next I'm gonna do the red apple. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. It's very sweet and very juicy. I like that one better than the green apple. Next, I'm going to try the yellow apple. Mm. I think I have a favorite. I think I have a favorite. So next, I don't know if you've done this yet or not, but in the sunshine class, you got a graph like this with some stickers and you can have do an eating contest sorry here i am an eating contest with your family to see of apples and see what kind you like the best so my favorite mrs merrill's favorite was the yellow what's your favorite what's your favorite maybe shout it out i wonder what miss weber and miss schaefer's favorite would be yeah my favorite of the day was yellow so I have another thing that I want to show you that we have. <coughs> this is kind of messy. <coughs> Excuse me, the apple in my throat. This is called an apple peeler. An apple peeler. I washed this apple, but I forgot that the skin was on. And this is kind of a unique tool. Do you see it turning? So you stick the apple in like this. The apple goes in like, like that. And I think Mrs. Merrill did it wrong. Hold on. put the apple in this way. It's been a while since I've used this. <clears throat> and now, I'm gonna turn it and watch what happens over here. I don't know if you can see this. Tuck, are you watching? Cause Tuck should see this. Tuck, I bet, likes apples. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. So I'm turning it with this handle. Now watch what I'm doing. It's an apple peeler and it also slices the apple. And I'm at the end. So do you see the skin? It's like long, like a snake long and I brought my ruler here to see how long our core or our peel would be there's 12 inches it's longer than a foot 
two feet, three feet, four feet. Ooh, am I gonna get to five feet? Five feet, oh, I might even get to six. It is, it's six feet tall and a little more inches, probably about four more inches we can measure. Six, it is, it was six feet four. Do you know anyone that tall? That would be six feet four, I do. It, Mrs. Schaefer has a son, Nick, that is six feet. Look, it is taller than Mrs. Merrill even. I'm stretching way up high. I don't know if you can see me, but look. That's the length of the core of the peel. I keep saying core. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna take the apple. Look, I'm just left with the core, the core. That's all that I'm left with. But now, if I were to make an apple pie, this is how I would make an apple pie or maybe apple bread. Let's see if this, oh, did you see what I can make? Do you see that? It's like an accordion or spiral stair steps. Woo! <laughs> and it broke. All right, because look at you. It's in the shape of a donut. It's in the shape of a donut. I sure hope you enjoyed this field trip and making fun things. Gino, remember that you can go to the store and you can buy apples. You could make apple bread. You could make apple pie. You could make apple cake. Or you could just eat an apple underneath an apple tree. Have a great weekend. It's gonna be a little chilly, but I hope you enjoyed this video and of our first field trip Friday. See you later, everyone.